Good evening. Welcome, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you again in a new class. How was your weekend? I, I hope you had a good weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I hope you have time with your family. Right? And that you're ready for this class. Everybody's ready for this class, right? Okay. Welcome. Ta-da! Welcome, everybody. To the show time. Good evening, right? teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Okay. And you? I'm very good. Thank you, Elisa. Great. It's a pleasure to, to hear you again. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Hi, Moises. Ready for a new class? Hello, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You are ready? I am happy. Very nice. Ah, okay. Happy no for... Hey, hello, Jessica Carolina. Pleasure. Okay, Moises, no, no, no for the selecta, but, but you're happy for English, right? Only. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. For, for the same. Time. Perdimos como siempre, jugamos como nunca, right? <laughs> the same. Well, like, como dijo que la señora, no nos queda más. Uh huh. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, welcome everybody. Maria Rene, Jessica Raceli, Brenda, Mateo. Welcome back, Mateo. And Delia, welcome Delia. So let's begin right now. Uh, we are going to make a little review about about the present continuous, right? How the present continuous. And for that reason, we are going to we are going to watch the information in the in the Manual, right in the manual. Okay, good. We were learning uh, last time about affirmative, present continuous, negative, present continuous, information question. No, it just no question, sorry. Information question. Are you working? Are you studying English? Is she running? Are they eating? Etc. Etc. And we'll finish with the last topic, uh, WH question, right? WH question. And with present continuous. So here in the manual, page 36, if you have the man manual in your hands, page 36, uh, we have this uh, well, question, question, you know. Uh, the, the structure of information question are WH word, verb to be, subject, and present participle. That is a verb plus ing. And then here he we have some example, right? Why is he meeting the new people today? Why is he meeting the new people? Because he is um, working with new with a new company, maybe. When is the new office launching? It is launching on September 30th. Yes. Where is your boss having the annual meeting? He's having the annual meeting in uh, Hotel Cheraton. So, right? Good. Then we have here. Sure. Some... Yeah? Hello? What is the meeting launching? Lanzando. Lanzando, right? In this case, no, it's not that you're throwing the company, right? <laughs> like this. But it's maybe a new product, lanzar un nuevo producto o nueva, un nuevo negocio, una nueva oficina, in this case, right? New, new office launching, probably. Pero solo en ese sentido, no es como lanzar sí. algo también? Yeah, also, yes. But also you can use throw, throw, tirar algo. Uh, but launching is more like, more systematic, more... 
I don't know how to say with 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 one specific purpose, right? And, and throwing it like, for example, tirar algo, botar algo, aventar algo in general, right? Mm -hmm. Launching is lanzar. Um, for example, I don't know. Yeah, ya entendí. Maybe a plane, lanzar un avión, you know, <laughs> something like this. And in commercial, in comer co commercial is el lanzar un producto al mercado, you know. It's, hmm? Understand is more, I don't know how to say it. Tirar un producto is not, <laughs> you take the product. <laughs> no, right? No, in this case, lanzarlo es como tirarlo al mercado, como, yeah, para los consumidores, right? Oh, oh, Algo nuevo. Yeah, for example, in, in, with the carrozas, right? In, in Agosto, in August, I mean, uh, the, the, the ladies, uh, they launch candies. They don't throw candy, right? Ow! No, no, no. It's like the, you launch the. Oh! You imagine Moisés, right? In Salvador del Mundo. Oh, candy, sometimes. Candy. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, sometimes you're right. They throw uh -huh. yeah. candies. Yeah, you're right. But normally it's launch. Okay. Candy, I no got it. You start. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, uh, let you. me see. Anytime. What company are you working for? How? How what? Can you help me, please? He divide. He divides, right? In the number one is you work. In number two, he divide. So what is the form of the verb to be for he? He am is he, he is right. How is he? What is the present participle for divide? At s divides no dividing divide right like this. Yes or no? Without it. Without? E, e right? E. Yeah, the rule says that in the present participle, when the verb ends in E, you elim eliminate, erase, drop, take away, kaput, the E, right? Yes? And then you say dividing. How is he dividing the group, right? ¿Cómo, cómo está dividiendo? ¿Cómo está el teacher dividiendo los grupos, right? Mm -hmm. Dividing the groups. Okay. Now, when she hand. Manejándolos. Check it, right? How? When is? When she ah, is when, handing the when checks. Is she? Handing. handing. Simple. The checks. Hand. Handing. Handing. Notice that uh, with verbs, last time, remember, we were talking about impact and, and impact, right? Remember? Impact is the noun. Then impact is the, the, the verb, the action. In this case, we have uh, the part of... of of a body, right? Your hand, your hand is a noun. And also it's a verb. Manejar. Manejar algo, right? It's hand. I hand the problem. You hand the situation, right? And in this case, the checks, right? She's handing. Understand? So sometimes verbs are nouns. Algunas veces los verbos son nombres. It's on verbo, right? In this case, right? So, we have to pay attention to this, right? Now, number four, your boss visit. Which factory? The bird to be? Is, is your boss visiting? Visiting. This month. This month, right? Is your boss visiting? What? Which factory is your boss visiting this month? Interesting. Okay, number four. 
five, the new secretary works. Why is Miss? What is the new secretary working? Uh huh. Why is the new secretary working, right? Ne the next Saturday. Okay, very good. Do me a favor, Elsa, can you read the five questions again for the class, please? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Number one, what company are you working for? Number two, how is he defining the groups? Number three. Sorry when for the interruption, she... Elsa. Uh, do you remember the intonation when we make questions? The yes no question is: Is she working? Okay, teacher. This, listen, is she working in this company? Exaggeration, of course. Right? Mm -hmm. Is she working in this company? Where is she working? Or oh, what company are you working for? Exaggeration, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Elsa, continue. Number three. Uh, when, <laughs> okay, when is she handing the checks? Excellent. Which which factor is your boss visiting this month? Uh, why is the new secretary secretary working the next Saturday? Good, good intonation. The next Saturday, you know, down, you know, down. Excellent, also Elsa. Very good. Now, uh, we are going to see another material just to close completely the, the present continuum, you know, no more present continuum, right? Other topics, but no present continuum, right? Okay. Let me share with you this material. Um, okay, here. And to start with this material, we're going to practice a conversation just give me a second here i will put this in the correct place okay here right now listen to the conversation asking about families using the present continuous page 31 exercise 3 conversation asking about families part a Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, now listen again and pay attention in the use of the present continuous in this conversation. Listen. Page 31, Exercise 3, Conversation. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. So what are the present continuous sentences that you see in this conversation? The example, please. He's traveling in the Amazon. She's working on a very secret project. He's working. He's, working. Uh, he's traveling, like Mateo said, right? And what else? 
She's working, he's traveling, and negative. She's not working in the United States. This she's, not work. she's not working, right? Very good. Now look at the sister. She look like dun 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 Okay, so and the brother, you know, is like in Brazil, right in the Amazon, you know. Look at the bird and the crocodile. I suppose it's a crocodile. Maybe it's alligator. No, right? Alligator are only in California, right? No, it's a it's a it's a crocodile. Crocodile, yeah. And he's taking the picture. Look. Okay, interesting. Now please listen again the conversation and repeat, please. Ready? One, two, three. About families. Action. Part A. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about you. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow! And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okie dokie. Any question about words that you don't understand? No questions? Okay, class. Now we'll take the attendance. Welcome to the week number four, unit four. Uh, Friday, no classes. No classes, right? And then we return on Monday, September 18th, right? For the last class. Uh, and I repeat, the last class on Monday, September 18th is mandatory. It's not permitted you miss, right? And no permit to listen. Teacher, voy a estar de oyente. No, 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 no. Monday absolutely prohibits the listener, right? Prohibido los, los oyentes. You, you have to participate in the class and because we're going to make a, a poll. Vamos a hacer una encuesta para Insafor. So it's absolutely necessary you participate, right? Cameras on and participation. Monday. Obligation. Ok, don't forget that. Si tienen alguna, alguna clase, alguna reunión con el jefe, eh, algún viaje, whatever, you know, says, suspension. Todo suspendido. Lunes, you know, mandatory to be in the class, right? Don't forget. Good. Now, I will take the attendance, but before, let me see the listener. Vamos a escuchar los oyentes de este día. Let me see. Ok. Ada says, estará de oyente. Ah, ok. Very good. Ada is cooking. Nice. Ada. Chicken. <laughs> ok. Va a estar de oyente, Ada. Ok. Let me see. 
in a second. Okay, very good. Then I have um, good night, teacher. Good evening, right? Good evening. Uh, will I will be a listener? Says because I am very sick. Ah, Wilfredo. Oh, sorry, Wilfredo. No, que se, que se recupere. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, teacher. Only for the listen. Okay, I understand. Uh, Only listen. Yes, I understand. Okay, yes. thank you. But you know the solution, right, Wilfredo? You yes. know the solution. <laughs> you know the solution. <laughs> no, it's kidding. okay. No, okay. I hope you get better. Espero que se mejore, Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher. Pero Dios. It's okay only for the only for I need the class. Okay, good, excellent. Yes. Thank you, Wilfredo. Thank you. And now, uh, Carlos Armando, estará de oyente. Sigo aún el trabajo. Bueno, ni modo, verdad? Carlos está en el bosque. Permítame. Okay, y tengo la última. Good evening, Kenia. Estaré, estoy en el hospital. Sí, muy bien, los lunes y jueves le toca a Kenia ir al hospital. Y Moisés. Ah, ok, un mensaje para Wilfredo ahí, ¿verdad? Algo así como cuervo, dicen, una marca de una bebida, no sé. ¿A qué se refiere? No sé, no sé a qué se refiere Moisés, pero bien. Ahí está el eh, deseándole buena salud a Wilfredo, ¿verdad? Thank you. Thank you, my sis. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, very good. Entonces tenemos a Ada, Carlos, Wilfredo, en Kenya, right? Bueno, los demás entiendo que van a estar de participante. Ok, so. Attention, please. Attendance, Brenda Lee. Present. Welcome, Brenda Lee. Brenda? Present. Okay. Francisco? Present. Oh, va a estar de participante, Francisco. Excelentoso. Very good. Eh, Delia? Present, teacher. Elsa? Present. Enrique. Erenia. Present. Okay, thank you. Evelyn. No, okay. Freddy. Ingrid. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Va a participar ahora, Jessica. Yes. Excelentoso, yeah. Okay. Jessica Carolina. Jessica Carolina. Hello. Por ahí nos saludó temprano Jessica Carolina. Bueno, vamos a dejarle en pausa. Jonathan. Present. Welcome, Jonathan. Eh, María. Present teacher. Good, excelente. Qué bueno tenerla de nuevo, María. Va, va, hoy va a participar, ¿verdad? Yes. Excelente. Y por lo otro salí perfectamente bien. Uh, 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 aplausos. Gracias. Se me cayó el listado, pero vale la pena. <laughs> ok. Ok, good, very good. Yes. Eh, María René. Present. Mateo. Present. Excelentoso, Mateo. Hoy ya estamos con todos los poderes, ¿verdad? Yes. Excelente. Moisés. Present, teacher. Ok. Alexi. Present. Ya resolvió, Alexi. Ya estamos. Yes. Con... Excelente. Qué bueno que la última semana con todos los poderes ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. William, Antonio. William. Wilmer. Present, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, 
I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. Two volunteers, please. Come on. Help me. Help me. Volunteers. Talking about the, the brother of Sue, right? Me teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Elsa and... Elsa and... Yeah. Ah, Brenda Lee. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It's good because uh, the voices, I confuse the voices. So you say, when you say just tell me, uh, me, Brenda Lee, <laughs> me, Elsa, okay? <laughs> okay. So Rita, uh, Elsa, right? And Brenda Lee, you are going to be Sue. Ready, girls? One, two, three. Action. Tell me about, about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Whoa. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife wild photographer. Wild wildlife. wildlife photographer. What an interest. What a what an interest. <laughs> what an interesting. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister. A way she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okie dokie, thank you, right? Now listen, wild is salvaje, right? Wild. Wild, wild. It's, there are many songs, right? Muchas canciones que tienen la palabra wild. Born to be wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nacido para ser salvaje, right? Wild. Wild. Uh, and there is another who said wild. No, it, yes. Okay, etc. Wild. In this case, wildlife. And be careful when you say away, right? Away. Away, not. Because you say, mi hermana es un buey. No, no, no. So be careful, right? Away is away. Away, my sister's away. Ah, okay, very good. And uh, that's it, right? Thank you very much. By the way, Brenda Lee and Elsa, good pronunciation, eh? Congratulations. Yes, only one or two words that are you know difficult, but don't worry. Okay, the next one, please. Two more volunteers, and we we'll finish with this conversation. Two more Me volunteers. Me, teacher Ingrid. Ingrid versus uh, I mean Ingrid and. <laughs> Me teacher. Uh, Francisco, okay, thank you. Uh, Francisco, your Rita, and Ingrid, your Sue. Are you ready, guys? One, two, three, action. Tell me about your brother and sister. Well, my sister works for the world. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure. But, but not now. My sister away is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, now look, I, when I say I meet them, it, it's together, right? Link, link. Say so meet them, meet them. Mm -hmm. And again, my sister's away. My sister's away. <laughs> Be careful because my sister, my hermana, no, no. My sister's away, right? 
Thank you very much, Francisco. And thank you, Ingrid. That's it. Now let's continue with the, the review, the last review of the present continuum, right? We're watching this material. And now look at the yes, no question. Affirmative and negative question uh, sentences, sorry. With, but by the way, uh, have you noticed that sometimes they say statements and sometimes they say sentences? It's a commercial, right? Comercial. ¿Han visto en los libros de inglés o en las clases de inglés que siempre aparece la palabra statements? Read the next statements. Complete the statement. Repeat the statement, etc., etc. And sometimes they say sentences, right? Y algunas veces en lugar de decir statements, dicen sentences. So what is the difference between statement and sentence? You, do you know? ¿Alguien sabe la diferencia entre statements and sentences? Who knows? Nobody? Okay. So sentences are more general. We have five types of, of sentences. Affirmative. Negative. Interrogative. Imperative and exclamation. These are the five types of five categories of sentence. So sentence is very general. Right? When you when for example you say, I live in El Salvador, it's a sentence. I don't live in El Salvador, it's a sentence. Do you live in El Salvador? It's a sentence. Too. I mean, it's, it's, it's a question, but it's a sentence, you know, in general. Or when you say, go uh, open the book, repeat after me, it's imperative. So it's a sentence. I'm sorry. An exclamation is, uh, for example, oh, my gosh. Be careful. I don't understand, you know, <laughs> exclamation, right? Exclamation. So when the sentence is affirmative or negative, listen, pay attention. When the sentence is affirmative or negative, this is a statement, right? Okay? In other words, the sentences that are affirmative and negative are statements. They are called statements. Understand? Only the affirmative, only the negative, right? Interrogative is not a statement. No. Interrogative is a sentence. Right? Imperative and exclamation, sentences. Right? Affirmative is also an, a sentence and negative. But it's also a statement, pero además es un statement, una declaración, right? It's a declaración, statement, that something is or something is not. Que algo es o que algo no es. Es una declaración, right? So, and at the same time, it's a sentence. Y al mismo tiempo son oraciones, you know? Do you understand the difference now? Perdón, el, esto no tiene que ver con el tema, ¿verdad? Solo es un comercial ahí. So, do you understand? Help yes, me. Sir. Yeah, yes. Okay, good. Yes, very good. It's like, like when, when, when you say eh, un notario es un abogado, right? Pero no todos los abogados son notarios, right? Los notarios tienen que hacer un examen especial para ser notarios. Ok, y algunos no lo tienen. Algunos no, no, son, no son notarios. So the same, like this, right? Todas estas son oraciones, pero no todas son declaraciones. Right? Solo las afirmativas y las negativas, nada más. Ok? Good. Now, let's continue. Listen, please. Listen all the statements. 
No, no, all the same, no. All the sentences, <laughs> all the sentences, right? Page 32, exercise 5, grammar focus, present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing? He's traveling in the Amazon. What are your friends doing these days? They're studying for their exams. Okay, so notice affirmative, negative, uh, yes, no question, and information question, right? Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and information question. This is the structure, right, in general. This is the summary, right? This is the resumen del presente continuo. Any question? Nos ha quedado claro, practicado y entendido el tema del presente continuo. Affirmative, negative, questions, comparison with the simple present and the present continuum, right? ¿Se acuerdan cuando los comparamos? Se nos costó entenderlo, yes. Eh, el presente continuo para el presente y el presente continuo para el futuro, yes. Do you still have any question? ¿Todavía hay alguna pregunta, chicos? El tema del presente continuo es amplio, ¿verdad? Nos sirve para describir algo que está sucediendo en el momento y algo para el futuro. Lo podemos comparar con el presente simple y tenemos oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas, right? Yes. Sobre las reglas de los verbos entre... En, ¿Cómo hacen los verbos en presente participio? ¿Está claro? Yes. Ok. Aquí hay dos situaciones. Número uno, o el teacher es, y el, el, el material que tenemos es perfecto, que no ha dejado ninguna duda, ¿verdad? Todo está al mil por ciento entendido. O les da pena preguntar. Espero que, sea, <ríe> espero que sea la primera opción, ¿verdad? Porque sí, este tema es un poco difícil. Yo les soy honesto, cuando yo estudiaba inglés, no me quedó claro al principio. Luego lo estudié y me lo volvieron a explicar y bueno, ya lo logramos entender. Pero sí, es, es muy complicado, ¿no? O sea, que el verbo to be, que el, el presente participio, que, que pregunta, que respuesta, que es negativo, que oh, es complicado, ya es. Así que, por favorcito, si hay alguna duda, repito, estamos a sus órdenes para explicar. Sin pena. A mí me fascinan las preguntas. ¿Sure? Ok. Now let's practice this. Let me see. Ok, here we have Stephanie and Mark having a conversation, right? And they are talking about the activities they are doing, right? Stephanie says, hi, Stephanie. What? Uh, what? 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 Help me, please. What? Are you doing? What are you doing? Very good. What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? And it says, hey, Mark, I, I what? Come on. I am standing. I am, oopsie, standing, right? Standing. Let me see. I am standing in an elevator. 
and it's stuck. Oops, stuck. Se ha trabado, right? Stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah. I wait. It. It are, it is, or it am. It is moving. It is moving, right? We say, ah, wait, it's moving. It is move, ah, elimination of the E, and then you got ING, right? Oh, wait, it is moving now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, right? Okay, let's go to the conversation, right? In the other conversation, we have uh, Marcy and her mom talking, right? What are they talking about? Well, Marcy says, uh, how? Well, Marcy is the mother, sorry, yes. Uh, how is or are you and Justin? Well, are. are right are very good are how are you and Justin enjoying enjoying thank you very much come on guys everybody participate yes vamos participemos todos yes come on how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip so we had a compra, right? How you are enjoying? Then we said we we are having a lot of fun. We're having fun. We're having fun, a lot of fun, right? And then it's a question. Are or uh, is? Is is right? Is your brother? Is your brother spending? Spending. Spending. Say spending. 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 Ya se lo pueden que Gaston, right? Are you a saver or a spender? Eh? Son ustedes gastones o ahorradores cuando compran? Spending or savers? And says, no, mom, he. He's buying only he, one. He is buying. Do you think he's buying just one or two things? Look at the picture. Nah, right? Yeah, he's buying a lot of things. He's exactly Moises when he goes to Dollar City, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. I am, I am That's scared. you, right? No, no, no. This only one dollar. One no today is no more one dollar. It's three dollar or four dollar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. What about you, Mateo? When you go to Dollar City, do you buy many things? Mm, Are you a spender? When you go to Dollar uh, City, you have you buy this, this, this. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's normal, I say. Yeah. Hey, qué bonito este reloj. Mira esta, mira esta taza, qué chido que es. Okay, very good. That's it. And you, Elsa, are you a spender or a saver? I'm a saver. Oh, nice, right? Yes. A saver is between a stingy person and a spender, right? El, el, ahorra, el ahorrativo está entre el gastón y el tacaño, right? Yes. <laughs> We are in the I middle. I love the money. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. But it's nice. I mean, to save, right? To save. It's good. In these expensive days, it's necessary, right? Okay. Good, class. Now, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? Hey, Mark. I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I... Wait. It is moving now. Thank goodness. 
Good. Two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. A and B. Stephanie and Mark. Volunteers. Volunteers. Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Maria and... Moises. Me, teacher. Moises. Uh, no. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Moises and Maria, but somebody says me. ¿Quién más dijo me? Ingrid, Ingrid, okay. Ingrid, in the second conversation, Ingrid, please. Now, uh, letter A, Moises, letter B, Maria, right? Ready, guys, action. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? Hey, Mark, I'm standing. Elevator door and um, struck. It's. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's stuck. It is stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I want it. It's moving. No, thank you, goodness. Goodness. Thank. Thank goodness. 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 Thank Good, goodness. No. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Maria. Thank you very much, Moises. Now, Ingrid, conversation. The second conversation. Who wants to help Ingrid, please? Another volunteer. Ingrid and? Me, teacher. Uh, Delia, right? Okay. So, Delia, you're A and Ingrid B. Action. Mm. Marcy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are have, having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. mom. He is buying only one or two things. That's all. Thank you very much. Listen, things. Volado, chuncha, right? Things. <laughs> things. Mm. That, that's all. That's all. That's, all. That, that's all okay thank you very much Ingrid thank you very much Delia that's it right now we're going to make a very interesting uh, exercise let me erase this okay good now I will have you make questions about your family right uh, is anyone in your family traveling right now? Is anyone in your family living abroad? Viviendo en el extranjero, right? Living abroad. Is anyone in your family uh, going to school or college? College is university, right? Is any... A anyone in your family travel uh, moving to a new home? Is anyone in your family studying a foreign un lenguaje extranjero, right? a foreign language? Foreign, foreign language. Then you say, yes, no, my sister, my dad. Okay. What is he doing? What is she doing? Et cetera, et cetera, right? So to start the conversation, I will have Brenda. And Francisco. Uh, Brenda, can you make the question? Of course, uh, Francisco is a personal question, right? It's a personal question of your family. You can answer personally or you can invent. Puede contestarla en la vida real o puede inventar, Francisco. Yes? Okay, Brenda, please make the question to, to, to Francisco. Is, is anyone in your family traveling right now? Teacher, how do you say anyone? anyone? Traveling. No. Sorry, Francisco. Any... Ah, anyone, anyone. It is... ¿Hay alguien en tu familia, en su familia, Francisco, que esté viajando ahorita, que ande por Canadá, por Guatemala, por México? 
Uh, is anyone. Hay alguien en su familia, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes or no, Francisco? Yes, my... My brother, my sister, my uncle, my grandmother. grandma, your grandmother, okay. Say, my grandmother is. Is, is she? She is. She is. United States. Oh, okay, now. Continue, continue, Brenda. What he doing? No, there? she, she is a, her grandmother. His grandmother says. So abuel, what? La, la abuelita de, 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 de Francisco anda en Estados Unidos ahorita. So, what is she? What, what, what is she doing there? Here. No, there, there, uh -huh, because here is El Salvador and there is United States, right? Uh -huh, there, there. Uh -huh, Francisco, what is your grandmother doing in the United States? She is for business. She is in a in a tourist. She's like a tourist. She's buying. Doing in visit in your your friend. She's vi visiting her family. She's visiting your... her her family, right? No, my family. family. No, my family. No, her. La familia de ella, que okay? es la misma familia suya, ¿verdad, Francisco? Me imagino. Ok. Her family. Say, Francisco, she is visiting her family. Visiting your family. No, no, her. Her. Her family. Ajá, uh -huh, her family. La familia de ella, right? Her family. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, very good. Again, vamos a hacer la conversación de nuevo, right? Pero más fluida, yes? Okay, Brenda and Francisco, the same. La misma conversación, the same. Okay, ready? Action. Is anyone in your family traveling right now? Yes. My grandmother is she's in United States. What's he doing there? She, she. What's she doing there? She visit your cheese. Her family. Cheese. Cheese. No cheese. Cheese. Visit her family. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. In English. Thank you very much. Right now, eh, Delia, you make the question to Elsa about living abroad. Living abroad. Viviendo en el extranjero. Viviendo. No. No viajando. Right? Viviendo, living abroad. Elsa, Elsa. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Elsa, is anyone in your family living abroad? Yes. My, my brother, he is in um, Australia. What he's doing there? He's studying. Nice, nice. Very good. Now, next couple. Let me see. Uh, Erenia, you made the question to, to Ingrid, right? Going to high school, alguien que está estudiando bachillerato, right? Or universidad, right? High school or college? Okay, Arenia, to Ingrid. Okay. Ingrid, is anyone in your family studying right now? No, going to high school? Or college? Or college? Or college? Right now. Uh -huh, Ingrid. Is, is uh, I am, is I am not 
No, you can say no, nobody's. Nadie en nobody. su familia. Ok, wait. Nadie en su familia está estudiando en bachillerato o universidad, Ingrid. No. No, no. Nobody. Nobody. Is it. Nobody. 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 When someone makes the question, anyone? No, nobody. Nobody. Okay, good. Sorry. You know. Okay, now, the next. Eh, Jessica Araceli, you make the question to Jonathan. Moving to a new home. Moving to a new home, right? Okay, Jessica Araceli, make the question. Is anyone so you start with saying, is anyone in your family moving to understand Jessica? Is anyone in your family moving? O le está, le está fallando el micrófono, Jessica, porque no, no le copiamos. Hello, hello. Teacher. Ajá, ya, yes, Jessica. Le escuchamos, hoy sí ya le escuchamos. Is anyone Ajá. your Family movie to a new home. Ajá, uh -huh, Jonathan. No. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody is. Oh, okay. Nadie se está cambiando de casa. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Now, let me see. Uh, Maria, please. Maria to Maria René. Starting. Okay. Listen, a foreign, foreign language. Foreign. foreign language. Good. A starting foreign language. Yes, yes, okay. Ready, Maria Rene? Listen and answer. Is Amari, is your family? Oh, no, wait, wait. Is anyone in your family? Is your... No, is... is um, any, any, anyone? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Is anyone your family starting a foreign language? Nobody. Oh, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> only you, Maria Rene. Only you're learning English, right? Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much, class. You see? That's it, right? So we finish with the with the present continuum, right? Okay, class. Now let's go to the class of today, right? Today, we're going to start unit number four. Unit number four, right? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher, eh, está comenzando a llover. Si acaso oh. no le contesto, es porque ya iba a o la, o la luz o algo. Por la luz, ok. Igual aquí, ¿verdad? Si hay lluvia, pues ya. Me esperan, ¿eh? <ríe> Me esperan, yes. Eh. Estoy hablando con Erenia, ¿verdad? ¿Erenia? Sí, sí, sí va. Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver si me recuerdo, porque siempre me, me equivoco con Erenia y con María, ¿verdad? Eh, Erenia está en San Miguel y María está, María Recinos está en Sonsonate, ¿verdad? Así es. Sí, bueno. sí. Ok, very good. Ya, hoy ya nos aprendimos. También los nombres de los niños. Quiero ver, el niño de Evelyn, la niña es Gisela. Sí, Gisela, right? Y el niño de William, dijimos, o de Wilmer, no, de Wilmer, ¿verdad? Es Dylan. Dylan. Y la niña de Ingrid, ay, oh, Dios mío, aquí sí, ya no me llegó hasta ahí la memoria, Ingrid. Se llama, her name is. My goodness. No. Ingrid, help me, please. Jaylin, teacher. Jaylin, Jaylin, yes. Sorry, again, again. 
Vamos a copiarlo para que no se nos olvide. ¿Cómo se llama la princesa? ¿Qué se oye al fondo cuando usted está participando, Ingrid? Sí. A ver, dígame. Hailey. ¿With H o, o J? J. J, right, ok. ¿Así, Jaylin? La A. Ajá. Ay. Es y. Why? J. Ah, ok. This is J. J. A. La Y. Ah, why? Why? Come on, Y. Why? L. L. E. E. N. N. Okay, Jaylin. Jaylin. Okay, nice. Beautiful name. Yes, Jaylin. Okay. I try to remember. I try to remember. Yes. Because for me, and you and your family are really important for me, right? Okay, class. Now, let's go to the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Inglés Corporativo en Safor and teacher Javier Gómez say welcome to this class, class number 16. Today is September, Monday, September uh, 11th, right, 11th. Ways to report a problem. When you want to report a problem in your company, what do you do? So this is the, the question, right? And the objective for tonight is the next. Uh, hey, Enrique, welcome to the class, Enrique. ¿Va a estar de oyente o va a participar, Enrique, o va manejando? Mr. Rosales, 10-4, 10-4, me copia. Enrique, Enrique. Voy manejando todavía. Ah, good, good. Tell, tell me when you get home, Enrique, ¿ok? Lo voy a poner de, de oyente ahorita, yes. Ok, so let me see. Who's going to help me? Ingrid, please. Can you read the, the objective for tonight, Ingrid? I will be able to make a phone call to report a problem. Good. So when you make, when you have problem, right, and you ring report the problem by telephone. What do you do? So this is the question, right? Now, uh, in some company, we have a uh, tech support. Tech support is support technical, right? When you have a problem with air conditioning and air conditioning, uh, when you have a problem with your computer, with your printer, with the telephone, with the microwave oven, with the machine, right? Because in some companies, for example, Compañía General de Seguro, which is machine very big, right? Avicola Salazar, for example, right? You have problems sometimes with the, with the machines, right? And I don't know, Curtis International, uh, Industrial, sorry. Uh, Mediterranean Chief, D Digitex. Uh -huh. you, sometimes you have problems with the, with the equipment, right? So, is your responsibility to call the tech support? Let me see. Wilmer, do you ever call tech support? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Yes. When? When? When do you do? Mm. In the world, uh... When you have problems with what kind of machines, Wilmer? Mm -hmm. Computers, ma machinery, maquinaria, machinery. In uh, computer. Computers. Ah, okay. So you call tech support when you have problems with your computer. Yes. Good. Excellent. And are you satisfied with the service of your company? Or the or are you satisfied with the tech support? Yes. Oh, nice. Excellent. Okay. Good. Now, what about you, uh, Alexi? 
Do you ever call the tech support? Yes or no? Mr. Caballero? Okay, Moises, please. What about you, Moises? Do you ever call tech support? Yes. When? When do you call them? Um, um, I take support and um, calling the machine. The machine, right? Okay. When you have problem with the machines, you call the them, right? Machine. Mm -hmm. And yes. well, in Catholic yes. Relief Service, what kind of? Permítame. Mi internet me está fallando un poquito, pero. Tuve un bajón, no sé si me copiaron. Moisés, me copia bien. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Usted bien te ha cortado? No, yo lo escucho bien. Ah, muy bien. Es que cuando me tira el mensaje acá que me está fallando el internet, se oye cortado. Pero bien, sigamos entonces. Eh, Moisés, in Catholic Relief um, Service, eh, what, what kind of machine do you have? ¿Qué, qué tipo de maquinaria o, o de equipo? What kind of equipo? Equipment do you have, eh, Moises? It's my laptop. Ah, the laptop. Okay. Yes. So when you have problem with the laptop, you call tech support, right? Yes. And is it a good service? Is fast? A good? Yes, very good service. Excellent. No problem. No, no complain. No hay queja, right? Excellent. No. Bueno, pues le voy a llevar mi computadora con. <laughs> <Nah, I'm kidding. laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Moises. Thank you very okay. much, right? And the last question, uh, to Mateo, please. What about you, Mateo? Do you ever call tech support in your company in Digitec El Salvador? Uh, no. No, never. Never. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> no problem. Okay, class, now let's continue. Here we have uh, the definition of the concept, right? For example, the tech support. The tech support is a service provided by a hardware or software company. I mean, when you have problem with the with the programs in the your computer, or when you have problem with the the keyboard, the mouse, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And not only with with computers, machinery because they are electronic too, right? Uh, which provide with help and advice about the problem, right? Advice also because sometimes, uh, uh, sí, para que su máquina funcione, apriete el botón de encendido, you know? Conectela. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, believe me. Sometimes uh, the, the, the problems are re very logic, right? <laughs> and people, what? Oh, yes, I forgot. Good. And then human resources department. Uh, the human resources department is the department in charge of, right? A cargo de, in charge of all employees and employee-related operations. You know, like uh, hiring, contratando, or fighting. Sorry, sometimes despidiendo or fighting. Or, or paying. Well, in some cases, for example, when you have trainings, uh, I don't know uh, in your companies, but maybe they have arrangement to for you to participate in in, in this English uh, course, right? So the the human resources help you. Mm -hmm. Sim, sim is give the impression or sensation of of being something or having a particular quality. Mm. Like you say, no lo sé, Rick. Me parece falso, right? Me parece, sim, right? <laughs> sim. So it's the, the impression, you have the impression or, or the sensation that something is good or is bad, you know? Or is correct or incorrect. Me parece, right? Parecer. Okay, now let's go to the conversation. Listen, Peter said, good morning. Uh, this is Peter. on tech support. How can I help you? How can I help you? The tech support, right? Okay. And then he says, Hi, Peter. 
This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like to report a problem with my computer, right? With my computer, okay? And then Peter said, what is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? And Robert says, it doesn't seem to work. It's like, parece que no trabaja, right? Parece que no trabaja. Yes, it's the, it doesn't seem to work. Mm. I see. I see. Let me ask you. Okay, give me a second here. Let me ask you some questions. And then I imagine Peter makes the question, right? The rubber, right? Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. Human Resources Department. I would like I'd like To report a problem, sorry, to report a problem with my computer. Come on, repeat. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, now let's practice the conversation, right? We're going to start with, let me see, um, Brenda and Francisco, right? Brenda, you're Peter. Francisco, you're going to be Robert, right? Ah, sorry, because it's a telephone conversation, I will say, chikirin. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it? Robert? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Nice. Very good. Listen, tech, tech support, right? It's a, it's a tech support, right? And then you say calling. I am calling. Screen. I'm calling from the human resources department, right? And you say it doesn't seem, it doesn't, no, I, I doesn't, no, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work. Very good, class. Now let's go to the next couple. In this case, will be Delia and Elsa, right? Good morning, teacher. 
Delia Peter, Elsa Robert. One, two, three, action. Teacher. Yes, remember. Okay. No. <laughs> Uh, put put them. <laughs> Teacher, you are so bad. Okay. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. Can I help you? How can I help you? I forgot. Uh, hi Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? What is it, Robert? It doesn't. It doesn't when seen. <laughs> It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. So, uh, Erenia and Ingrid again. Come on. Erenia Peter, Ingrid Robert. One, two, three, action. Good morning. This is Erenia Peter. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am coming from the Human Resource Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me let, let me ask you. Some question. Hong, hong. Very good. Nice. Congratulations, right? Good. Now, uh, Jessica Araceli with Jonathan, right? Jessica, you're Peter. Jonathan, you're Robert. Ready? Action. Good morning. This is Peter. Front edge support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. If I'd like to report a problem with me. With me computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me add, ask you some. Teacher. <laughs> Some question. <laughs> Some question. <laughs> okay, sorry, Jessica, but I mean, you have to memorize, right? You know? Okay, now uh, I have uh, Maria and uh, Maria Rene, right? Ready? Peter, Ready. Maria, and Robert is Maria Rene. Action. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. Um, I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I 
like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let, let me a case. You some question. Good. Listen, tech. Remember, it's not tech. It's tech support. Tech. Tech. Uh, calling. Calling. Tech support. Calling. Uh, calling. Moment. Momentito. Yes, okay. Es que de repente hay bajones en mi internet. Regáleme un segundito. Solo quiero... Solo quiero ver aquí. Uh, reacciona here. Ok, very good. Hoy sí, sigamos. Ok. Resources. Resources. Because it's plural. Resource is singular. Resources is plural, right? And what else? Ask you, ask you, ask you some question. Let me ask you some question. Ask you, right? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maria and Maria Rene. Now, Mateo and Moises, right? Mateo, you're Peter. Moises, you're Robert. Okay. One, two, three, action. Good morning. This is Peter. Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How I can I help you? Hi, Peter. And uh, this is I this is this is Robert. I am calling from the human resource department. Human resource department. I would like to report. Um I would like to report. a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? Robert. Uh, I doesn't... It doesn't. It doesn't. I. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okie dokie. Thank you, Emma. Right? Now we have uh, René Alexi and Wilmer, right? René Alexi, are you there? Ya se conectó Alexi. Vamos a ver si está por aquí Alexi. Estoy, teacher. Oh, good, Alexi. Good. You're going to meet Peter. Ah, hello? Perdón, eh, perdón, Alexi. Por ahí escuché un, que alguien me dijo, hi, teacher. No, o es mi imaginación. La imaginación, creo, profe. Es que escuché una voz al fondo. Están asustando, ¿eh? <risa> no, alguien... No, Alexi, ¿quién está ahí con usted? <risa> Mi pareja. Ah, excelente. Le mando saludos, Diego. <risa> ok. Ok. Ok, ¿she speaks English? Alexi. ¿She speaks oh, English? Yes. Excelente. Very good. Congratulations. Me gusta que esté también con nosotros. Bienvenida. Okay, Alexi and Wilmer, right? Alexi, you're Peter, and Wilmer, you're, you're Robert, right? Ready? Okay, teacher. Action. Hi. Good morning. This is Peter from this support. How I, how can I help you? How can I help you? Uh, how can I help you? Uh -huh, good. And please, Wilmer. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. Uh, I am calling from the Omar Resources Department. I like it to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. questions. Questions? Question. Very good. Thank you very much, Wilmer. And, and Alexi, congratulations. Good, good. I like it, right? Now, 
Let's go to the next exercise, right? Listen, if we have some questions. Number one, what is the issue? What is the problem with Robert's computer? What is the problem? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work, right? Parece que no trabaja, right? It doesn't seem to work. Okay? Very good. It's similar to uh, the government employees, right? Similar a los empleados de gobierno, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, they, they work. No, sí, trabaja. La mayoría trabaja. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Very good. And now, how does he report the problem? What expression uh, Robert uses to, to report the problem? I am calling. I am calling from the... I am calling to report. I know I, I would like to report a problem. I would like or I'd like to report a problem, uh, right? I like to report. This is the way you uh -huh. this is the way I like to, to for, for example, listen, I like to tell you something. Me gustaría decirle algo. Fíjese que esto aquí, esto allá. Ah, okay. The same happened when you report a problem, right? When you call to the to a company, I like to report a problem with my internet, for example, right? I like to report a problem with my mustache. Yes. <laughs> so you say I'd or I would like. Understand? Okay, very good. Now, let's continue, right? Yes, it's very hot, Alex. It's very hot. Good, class. Now, look. This is a commercial, right? The name of the companies. E, no, I mean, AE, AE, that's the name of the company, AE. What is the meaning of AE? Airport. Airport electronic. Airport electronic, electronics, right? You don't say A, but E, electronics. Uh-huh. And we have many products here, right? We have a tablet, a laptop, a desktop a keyboard, a GPS, a cell phone, a flash drive right. that is the same USB, USB. right? USB. Mm -hmm. A digital camera. Ya casi no se usa, ¿verdad? Sol, sol el teléfono Airbox. 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 Headphones. Yeah, headphones. 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 We have earbuds. And what? Earbuds are uh, lo que se pone aquí en, en el oído, ¿no? Earbuds. A projector, a printer, speakers, and a webcam. Good. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. A tablet. A laptop. A desktop. Repeat, please. A keyboard. A GPS. A cell phone. A flash drive. A digital camera. Headphones. Headphones. Earbuds. A projector. A printer. As, I mean, speakers. A webcam. Okay, class. Do you think these prices are 
lower or expensive? Sorry, teacher, I I don't have, I don't have glasses. I can see the, the price. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but uh, for example, the the headphones, los auriculares, right? $99.99, 100 dólares casi, you know. The projector, $2,699.99, right? It's expensive. $2,700, right? A projector. USB for gigas, $9. I mean, $10. Right? And well, could be uh, expensive, could be cheap for you, right? Good. Now, uh, do you know the meaning of GPS? How do you say GPS? GPS is global positional system. Global Positional System. Es su posición en el planeta. You know? Global Positional System. G P S. Por los que no sabían qué quiere decir GPS. El GPS. Right? El GPS. Ahí dice, ¿Tiene GPS su carro? ¿Tiene GPS su cel celular? You know? so, GPS. Es Global Positional System. Right? Global position assist. It's my wife. Oh, your <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it only does. <laughs> like, and then you are in the supermarket, right? ¿Y quién es la mujer que está hablando ahí? It's the cashier. It's the cashier. <laughs> okay, good. Good, class. Uh, any question? Now, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now, here we have other devices related to the house. It says household appliances. It's like electrodomestico. Right? How do you say electrodomesticos in English? Household appliances and machines. Listen, please. A food processor. Sorry, Delia. Perdón, Delia, que eh, el material, la letrita es pequeñita. Lo siento. <laughs> Hay que afinar ahí. Bro. Okay, a full processor, a hair dryer, a pressure cooker, olla de presión, right? A dishwasher, a coffee maker, a rice cooker, a fan. A stove. In, el, in, in Spanish, we say eh, cocina es el, el cuarto. Y cocina es la máquina también, you know? But in English, we say kitchen es el cuarto, kitchen. Y la cocina es stove, stove, right? La máquina, stove. And then an oven, a user. A user, right? Uh-huh, and a washing machine and a dryer machine. Uh, a blender. Blender, right? A refrigerator. Freezer, the part of the, the refrigerator where you have ice is the freezer, right? Okay. And you can say refrigerator informal fridge. Fridge. Okay, good. And a vacuum cleaner and air conditioner. What is the difference, otro comercial, right? What is the difference between air conditioner and air conditioning? What is the difference, class? 
¿Saben cuál es la diferencia entre un air conditioner y un air conditioning? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Air conditioner is the, the thing. The machine. The machine. Mm -hmm. And the air conditioning is um when you lo que uno siente feel sí. No, lo que uno siente se llama amor. <laughs> no. no, no, listen, Delia is air conditioning is the system. You know, the fan mm -hmm. outside, el ventilador afuera, no, los tubos, la máquina, todo, ¿no? El sistema completo, es air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Y solo la máquina, solo lo que se ve ahí, ¿no? Es, es air conditioner, es el, el aparato nada más, air conditioner. Conditioner. Understand? So air conditioning is the system. The full system, understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, please, repeat after me, everybody. Repeat us for me. A food processor. Ah, sorry. O si quieren se los hago más grande para que. O lo que no falla la vista, ¿verdad? Permítame. Oops, sorry. Ahí estamos. Vamos a hacerlo más grande. Por ahí quiero ver. Creo que por ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, Delia, ¿cómo estamos ahí? Yes. Yes, I see. I can see. Very good. So, repeat after me, please. A full processor. A hair dryer. A pressure cooker. A dishwasher. Oops, sorry. Uh, my computer is asking for energy. Just give me a second, please give me a second. Okay, very good. Sorry, sorry for the inconvenience, right? Uh, now, let's continue. A coffee maker. A rice cooker. A fan. Repeat, come on, a fan. A stove. An oven. A user. A washing machine. A dryer. A blender, a freezer, a refrigerator, a fridge, fridge, an air conditioner. A vacuum cleaner. Good. Any question? Now, let's go and here, right? Now, what are the adjectives we use to describe, you know, uh, things? Let me see. We have two conversations. Ah, yes. 
I have another conversation. What time is it? 20 to, to 10, right? I will pass the attendance again. In the meantime, you, you read this, please. Uh, Ada? Brenda Lee? Brenda? Present. <laughs> Francisco? Mr. Alfaro, Francisco. Yeah. Sorry, por aquí me pareció ver a Francisco. Ah, aquí está. Francisco, no soy. Francisco, do you copy? Okay. Eh, Delia. Present, sir. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Present, teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Elsa? Elsa? Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Eh, hoy, este día mi internet ha tenido varios bajones, así que si no me escuchan, me dicen. Okay. Eh, let me Excuse see. me? Es que mi internet me ha tenido varios bajones, entonces si no me escuchan, me dicen, porque... Cuando el internet de uno baja, ah, okay. ustedes no me escuchan a veces, ¿verdad? ¿Enrique? Sí. Present. Ok, ¿ya puede participar, Enrique? Ya merito. Ah, ok. I like it, ya merito. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Enrique. Eh, ¿Erenia? Present. ¿Evelyn? ¿Ingrid? Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Jonathan. Ah, oh, good, Jessica. Ya puede participar. Jessica. Sí, teacher, ya. Ok, good. Thank you, thank you. And Jonathan, thank you, Jonathan. Eh, María Present teacher María René Present Mateo Present Moisés Present teacher René Alexi Present teacher Thank you eh, William William Antonio Wilmer Present teacher Good, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right now, listen, here we have this uh, adjective. Right? Ah, sorry, one more thing. Excuse me. Una cosa más. Vamos a ver con quién nos vamos a quedar esta noche. Diez minutos. Alexi, puede quedarse diez minutos extra. Mañana, creo. Mañana, profe. Mañana. Por favor. Vale, mañana. Okay. Lugar, mañana. No problem. No problem. Mañana me quedo. Good. Eh, María, puede quedarse sí. diez minutos. Puede quedarse sí, 10 tipo. minutos extra. Ok, good. Thank you, María. I like it. Thank you very much. Good. Now, listen, broken. W broken is when something doesn't work. For example, you say, my car is broken. It's not working, right? My, my computer is broken. No es que se le haya quebrado, sino que no trabaja, right? It doesn't work. Broken, right? Obsolete. Obsolete is hard to use, very difficult to use. It's, it's, it's problematic, right? And the problem is uh, the technology is old. The technology is old. It's not new, right? Uh, for example, one of the most common uh, problem with the, with the iPhone, for example, my, my cell phone is an iPhone, look. But it's a version 2014, you know? I will explain this. Ya viejito, right? 2014, 2014, right? So what happened with this technology? Uh, the iOS system, right? The iOS system is eliminating some, some things, right? 
le va eliminando eh, al celular cosas, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ya no funciona la cámara o ya no funciona esto, ya no, etcétera, etcétera. So we call this obsolete, right? O sea, mi celular está un poco obsoleto, you know? <laughs> The same happened, for example, with the, with the song machine, for example, los DVD, right? ¿Alguien tiene DVD aquí en este, en este grupo? Para ver películas. <laughs> yo, teacher. Ah, ok. Me too, yo también tengo, pero ya... Ya está en tecnología viejita, Alex. Sorry. <ríe> Sorry, right? O ya casi nadie compra dos por el dólar a 50 centavos el CD de terror. De muñequito. <ríe> ok. So, you, you see, is it, the, the, for example, the DVD. Also, some TV, right? Alguien aquí tiene televisores de, los, de las cajonas aquellas, you know? Que todavía funcionan, por cierto. ¿Nobody? ¿Todos tienen pantalla ya? ya. No, mi teacher. Ah, ok, Moisés. You have uh, an old TV, you know. So we call this obsolete, right? Eh, Alguien que tenga un carrito de los 90. <laughs> obsolete, right? Los, los que no son inyectados, ¿verdad? Son los que usan carburador todavía. <laughs> Okay, it's so obsolete, right? The technology is old. Up to date. Up to date is that uses new or recent technology, right? iPhone 2023, right? El iPhone. ¿Por cuál va el iPhone? <laughs> Por el 16, creo que va. Por el 16 va o el 17 lleva ya. Bueno, no sé, pero es up to date, right? Que valen. No sé, más de mil dólares los teléfonos. <ríe> Con eso como más de un mes yo, así que mejor, mejor mi obsolete, miren. <ríe> todavía, todavía puedo llamar. <ríe> yes. Up, but up to date, you know, it's modern, right? Algunas personas les gusta estar comprando el, ce el celular del año, ¿verdad? And, ok, cada quien en lo suyo, ¿no? Lo último en cámara, lo último en technology, right? So, eh, All the cell phones. In the cell phones, the best today, right? Now, defective. Defective is a new product, but with a problem, you know? For example, in 2016, in 2016, creo que fue, eh, in the United States, they, they, uh, they launched many Toyota Corolla, right? En el 2016 lanzaron miles de Toyota Corolla que tenían problemas con los frenos, ¿no? Uf, un montón de gente fue a estrellar, ¿no? Uh, entonces, defective, defective, right? Eran carros nuevos, pero que tenían problemas con los frenos, ¿no? Eh, indemnizaron a muchas personas. Gracias a Dios nadie murió. Milagrosamente nadie murió, ¿verdad? Imagínense en las pistas de Estados Unidos que le fallan los frenos. Ups, <ríe> upsi. Pero no, na, gracias a Dios nadie murió, pero le regresaron el dinero a la. Y tuvieron que pagar miles de dólares en demanda, ¿verdad? La, la Toyota, you know. So defective, defective, right? When something is new, but with a problem, with a problem. Okay, now, let's continue, please. Here we have the conversation. It says, uh, Don, this printer is driving me crazy. Oh, it's driving me crazy. He's on the blink again. And Erin says, what's wrong with it? What isn't wrong with it? It's an absolute lemon. No, seriously, what is the problem? And then he says, well, first off, the things are not antique. It's 10 years old. Okay, and... And it's so slow. It takes hours to print. And now it won't print at all. Ya no imprime para nada, right? Well, that is a problem. Maybe it's fixable, right? Tal vez se puede arreglar todavía, aunque esté viejita. Yes. Let me have a look. Entonces, don't bother, ni te molestes, right? Ni te molestes, don't bother. 
It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No vale la pena, right? It's not worth it. The things obsolete, similar to the cell, to the telephone of the teacher, obsolete. <laughs> okay. And it says, anyway, it's not wireless. Wireless is uh, like Bluetooth, right? Bluetooth, sin cable. <clears throat> It has no scanner. It can photocopy. Sounds like you're ready for an upgrade. Está listo para modernizarte, para un nivel más alto, right? Airport electronic. Remember EA? Airport electronics is having a sale. Está teniendo una venta. Un, tienen oferta, right? Let's get you something more up to date. Up to date, right? Up to date. Okay. Now, listen to this and let's answer in the context, right? When I say, the printer is driving me crazy. Ugh. Is I love this printer or I hate this printer? What do you think? I hate. I hate this printer. Okay, let me see here, right? I hate this print. So let it be, right? Let it be, good. Number two, is on the blink. Again, the printer has a problem or the printer is okay? The, the printer has a problem. The printer has a problem, very good. Letter A, right? Now, let's continue, right? It's an absolute lemon. Is very bad or is very good? It's very bad. It's very bad, right? Okay, the thing is an antique. Is new or old? Is very old. Is very old, right? Sorry here. Letter B. Okie dokie. And now to finish, don't bother. Is not worth it. Means I don't want to fix the printer or I want to fix the printer. I don't want to fix the printer. No vale la pena, right? I don't want to fix the printer, right? I have some Sony um, the stereo. Very old, right? So it's, it's not worth it. Tengo unos aparatos de sonido Sony, pero ya están muy viejitos. Ya no, ya no suena el CD, you ¿no? Know? Para repararlos, it's not worth it. It means I don't want to fix it, right? I don't want to fix the, the printer, right? And finally, you're ready for an upgrade is... You need a new printer or someone needs to fix your printer? What is the correct? You need a new printer. Okay, very good. The teacher needs a new iPhone. <laughs> no, I don't. I have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. You see, any question? This is about technology, right? Questions? Okie dokie. Good. What are some common issues to report, right? Tienen un problema con una máquina en su trabajo? ¿Cómo lo reportamos? Listen. Common issues. It doesn't seem to work. Cuando algo no funciona, right? It makes a strange noise. 
cuando alga, algo hace un ruido extraño, ¿no? Imagínense en el carro, van ustedes. Uh, right. Uh, the CPU makes a funny noise. Cuando dice funny noise, no quiere decir que es divertido, sino que es raro, un sonido raro. ¿no? It needs new software. Ya necesita software más actualizado, right? Mm -hmm. It has no internet access. It has a virus. It has deleted files. Cuando se le meten los virus, pues empieza a borrar algunos archivos, you know. The printer has stock paper. Me ha pasado muy seguido. Se le traba el papel a la impresora y cómo se lo saca uno ahí. You know? USB ports are out of order. Ya no le sirven los puertos del USB. The screen is frozen. Otro problema común. Se le ha congelado la, la pantalla, right? The screen is frozen. Okay. Now, so how to report the problem? So you say, I like to report a problem. Or I would like to report an issue. I have a trouble with. So it says, I like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue or I have a trouble with. Now, please, repeat after me, please. It doesn't seem to work. It makes a strange noise. The CPU makes a funny noise. It needs new software. It has no internet access. It has a virus. It has deleted files. Archivo borrado, right? Dele deleted files. The printer has stuck paper. Se le ha trabado el papel, right? Stuck paper. USB ports are out of order. Ya no sirven los puertos. Out of order. The screen is frozen. I like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have a trouble with. Okay, class. Now here we have the problem. Look. Common issues to report, right? Common issues to report. The window won't open. Or the opposite, the window won't close, right? No se abre la ventana o no se cierra la ventana. The iron won't turn on. Ya no enciende la plancha. <laughs> Sorry. The air conditioner won't turn off, right? The fridge is making a funny noise. Then, oh, I cannot sleep, right? The toilet won't flush. No se va el agua en el chelito bocón, right? The toilet won't flush. El mejor amigo del hombre, the chelito bocón, the toilet. Now, the sink is clogged. El lavamanos se ha tapado, you know, it's clogged. It's clogged, right? Now, these are some common issues. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. The window won't open. The window won't close. The 
the iron won't turn on. The air conditioner won't turn off. The fridge is making a funny noise, a funny sound, sorry, a funny sound. The toilet won't flush. Won't flush. The sink is clogged. Okay, class, these are some problems, some common problems, right? I imagine you have some other problems in your company, right? But you can uh, describe these problems in the same way, in the same manner, right? Good. Any question, class? No questions? No question, teacher. Very good. Eh, ¿Ya podemos comenzar a trabajar en la plataforma? Eh, le suplico que para este jueves ya tengamos terminado toda la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, si pueden adelantarse, algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron y pues lo felicito. Eh, voy a mencionar a los alumnos que ya terminaron todo, todo o casi todo, ¿verdad? La plataforma. Eh, Brenda, Delia, casi la termina Delia, Evelyn, Moisés, Wilfredo y Wilmer, que casi, casi la termina, ¿verdad? Así que pueden adelantarse, no hay problema, pero los que no quieran adelantarse, si quieren ir al, a la par del, de las clases, no hay problema, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Eh, pueden hacerlo. Y el día jueves sería el último día ya para terminar toda la plataforma, ¿sí? Eh, ese día, me recuerdan, por favor, que vamos a, a revisar toda la unidad 4, ¿verdad? Y el examen final. ¿Sí? Si tiene alguna duda, pues ahí se sus órdenes. Sir, yes, sir. So, have a good night. Me quedo solo con Alexi. Los demás pueden retirarse. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Wilfredo. Bye. Get better. Bye. Que, se, me, que se mejore. Que se mejore. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Good bye, night. Bye. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, María. Bye, Jessica. Sí, Carolina. Conmigo, quedar conmigo. Ah, sí, perdón. Ah, Alexi. Ah, pues sí, Alexi, puede ir a dormirse. No hay problema. Perdón, María. Gracias que me avisó. Yes. Bye, Arenia. No Bye. Yeah. Sí, no, no. ¿Qué pasó ahí? <ríe> sorry, sorry. Ok. Bye, Arenia. Bye, Jessica. See you tomorrow. Ok. María, ¿qué le pareció el curso, María? Pues la verdad, muy interesante. He aprendido un poco más, a saltar que es un poco más mi forma de hablar, que me cuesta todavía, que no yeah. voy a decir que no. Me cuesta, pero sí he aprendido un poco, solo que soy sincera, la semana pasada, por lo mismo de la presión de la defensa del viernes, no estuve muy, muy, que se Muy diga. atenta, sí, o sea, estaba, sí. su mente estaba en dos cosas. Sí, créanme que quizás como que le tomo un poco de importancia más a la U porque... O sea, Obvio, sí. No, no, no me preocupes, yo entiendo. Yo entiendo. Sí, y yo el, el viernes eh, vi su mensaje, pero a las 10 salí. Sí, no hay problema, yo, yo entiendo. Uh -huh. que, sí, pero eh, hoy sí ya estuvo todo, ¿verdad? Ya, ¿Cómo salimos ya. ahí? ¿Cómo salimos con la defensa? Gracias a Dios, bien aprobada. Ya. Sí. Ingeniera. Okay. <risa> Sí, Ay, goodness. Congratulations, congratulations. Sí. Muy bien. Ya solo falta el título, el trámite. Sí, ya sí, estuvo, sí, sí. Pues, uh -huh. sí. Lo importante es que le hayan probado la, la defensa del trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. Congratulations. Ah, pues ahí me avisa para venirme a hacer una casa aquí a San Salvador. Ahí. Sí. <risa> <Ahí está bien. risa> ok. Sí. Muy bien. Este, sí. ¿Hay algún tema que. que, que sí, ese de que. Yo realmente quizás, como le digo, la semana pasada no estuve muy, muy presente, fue con lo del presente continuo, un poco. Entonces, este lo otro es que también quería preguntarle, los videos que usted sube ayudan bastante para la práctica de pronunciación. 
son las clases, las mismas clases que tenemos, sí. Y el mismo, ah, ok. Uh este video, por ejemplo, ahorita se está grabando -huh. y ya mañana va a aparecer en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Así que ahí puede practicar. Y los PowerPoint ya es un recurso de cada maestro, ¿no? No, no sé si el, el maestro anterior les presentaba, les daba presentaciones de PowerPoint eh, o solo con el manual trabajaba, el teacher anterior, María. Pues realmente también nos daba este, lo del PowerPoint, pero ah, okay. Muy casi bien, siempre sí. solo lo de la clase. Okay. No Muy es bien. como usted que sube los videos a la, al grupo, digamos, de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Solo sí. en eso sería, teacher, en presente continuo, un poco la duda. Sí. Pero quizás, como usted dice, voy a revisar bien los videos de la semana pasada. Mm -hmm. Porque y, y sí, los, como Y las digo, presentaciones de PowerPoint, ajá. Este, ajá. Pero la clase de ahora di un repaso completo del, del tema. No sé sí, si sí. usted... Vaya. Sí, sí, lo logré. Vaya, pero le, le voy a... Le voy a compartir una pantalla acá y medio le voy a explicar, ¿verdad? Porque para comenzar, el presente continuo tiene dos usos, ¿verdad? Sí. Para el, el the present, para uh -huh. describir oraciones o situaciones del presente y el futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En el presente usted usa expresiones, por ejemplo, como right now, ahorita. Right now. Now, in the present, these days, en estos días, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este año, por ejemplo, en este año eh, le ha tocado defender la tesis a María, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, una maratónica en nueve meses la hicimos. <laughs> Sorry. Este, sí. este mes, this month. Entonces, cuando usted está hablando de eso, quiere decir que en el presente están sucediendo estas cosas. Uh -huh. Pero si, si usted dice, por ejemplo, eh, tomorrow. Mañana. Mañana. Uh -huh. O next week. La siguiente semana. La siguiente semana. Next week. Bueno, entonces, todas las oraciones a uh, tonight, esta noche, ¿verdad? Tonight. Uh -huh. Eh, next Saturday, next Sunday, por ejemplo, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Uh -huh. Toda una expresión que indique eh, futuro. Pero vaya, este uh -huh. futuro es limitado, o sea que usted no puede hablar de dos años, tres años, no que es algo próximo. Uh -huh. O sea, el futuro del presente continuo es próximo. Vaya, uh -huh. por ejemplo, yo digo una oración afirmativa. I am working now. Ahorita estoy trabajando. Uh -huh. O puedo decir para el futuro, I am working tomorrow. tomorrow, tomorrow. Trabajaré mañana. Uh -huh. Pero si se fija, no estoy diciendo trabajaré en tres años. De aquí a tres años voy a trabajar. No, no, no. Uh -huh. el, o sea el que eres el limitado. La, la, digamos, o mañana o máximo la siguiente semana. Algo así. Uh -huh. Inclusive usted puede decir el otro mes, puede decir. Uh -huh. es, no sé, como que no hay un límite exacto, ¿no? Pero la cosa es que no es algo, digamos que usted diga, en dos años yo me estaré graduando, en, bueno, usted este año, eh, en cinco años me estaré casando, ya no, no es algo como planes a futuro lejano, ¿no? Sino que es, son cosas próximas, dijéramos, ¿verdad? Ok. Y eh, también vimos que esto fue lo más complicado. Bueno, ya, ya vio ejemplos de oraciones afirmativas, negativas uh -huh. y preguntas. Creo que ahí como que no hay mucho problema. ¿verdad? No, ahí no. Vaya, comparamos el presente continuo con el presente simple. Uh -huh. Ahí como que tiende a haber un poco de confusión. Ahí es donde uno se confunde bastante, lo sé uh -huh. honesto, ¿verdad? Va, para, para comenzar, el uso del auxiliar. Uh -huh. En el, permítame, ¿qué pasó aquí? Ya no me deja escribir. Ahí está. En el presente continuo se usa el verbo to be, que uh -huh. es am, um, are, and is. ¿Ya? 
Y en el presente simple se usa el do y el das. Los auxiliares. Los auxiliares, correcto. También el, el verbo to be es auxiliar, pero uh -huh. para el presente continuo. Uh -huh. Y el presente continuo se usa para situaciones eh, en el momento de hablar. ¿no? Moment of speaking. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Y el presente simple son para hábitos, rutinas. Uh -huh. Eso es el uso del presente continuo y el uso del presente simple. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y aquí le voy a poner ejemplos. Afirmativo, negativo y pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para que usted vea y compare qué es lo que estuvimos haciendo. Por ejemplo, el presente continuo afirmativo, I am, she is, lo vamos a poner. Uh -huh. She is uh, running. Ella está corriendo ahorita. ¿no? Now, por ejemplo. Y en el presente simple, solo ponemos el verbo con S. Se le agrega esa. She uh -huh. is chicken. Sí. Ella le gusta sí. comer el pío pío, right? Ok. <risa> yes. Okay. Eh, en negativo, negativo, ahí se they are not o aren't uh -huh. eh, eating. En the simple present usamos ya el, el, el auxiliar don't o doesn't, ¿verdad? Pongamos he doesn't travel too much. Casi no viaja. Es una rutina, ¿no? En negativo. Y preguntas. Vamos a hacerlo más arriba. Aquí estamos. Preguntas, ¿verdad? Questions. Questions. ¿Qué es lo que acabamos de ver? Eh, este día vimos las preguntas. ¿Se fijó, sí. María? Vaya. Entonces, en, hay dos tipos de preguntas, de yes, no y de information, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Are you sleeping? Yes, I am, o no, I am not. Uh -huh. Do you sleep late? ¿Dormís ya bien noche? Yes, I do, no, I don't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y las preguntas de información que vimos ahora. Where are you working? ¿En dónde estás trabajando? Right. Y el presente simple es, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas regularmente? Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ese es lo que vimos en, en las clases, ¿verdad, Luz? ¿Qué es? Sí. Honestamente lo que más costó, porque le digo que muchos compañeros, y obviamente es porque el tema es muy difícil, les costó un poquito entenderlo. Entonces, no sé, en su caso, ¿cómo estamos ahí, María? Fíjese de que es que a veces yo lo entiendo, pero a veces tiendo a confundirme. Eso es lo que pasa. Mm. Entonces ahí es donde yo me... me así, me quedo toda hecha bola, pero... <risa> Con esto realmente sí, como que ya se me, ya se me aclara sí. más. La, Vaya, la es que básicamente el presente continuo sirve tanto para el presente, algo que está ocurriendo continuamente, uh -huh. como para el futuro cercano, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y el presente simple sirve para rutina. Ustedes escriben lo que hago todos los días, me baño, me voy al trabajo, eh, envío correos, uh -huh. eh, et, eh, rutinas. Sí. ¿ya? Esa es la diferencia. Luego en la estructura usted puede ir, lo puede ir armando, ¿verdad? El do, uh -huh. el das, el, el verbo to be, el, los presentes participios que le agrega ING al verbo, o en sí. tercera persona se le agrega una S, she, he, and it, etcétera, etcétera. Todos detallitos, pues. Pero lo importante es que usted tenga en mente para qué sirve el presente continuo y para qué sirve el presente simple. Solamente. Hoy sí, hoy sí okay. me quedó claro. Ok. Y los consejos de siempre, ¿verdad, María? Por favor, eh, practique con la música, eh, busque en internet sitios que le puedan servir en inglés, eh, 
eh, que más vea películas de muñequitos ahorita, de, es lo que le conviene porque el, el lenguaje es bien sencillo y pues eh, en, este, en este nivel pues que le estoy enviando los videos pues mi consejo es que aunque sea 5, 10, 15 minutos le dedique a, a esos videos para que usted vaya practicando a la par de las clases pues algún refuerzo bueno, me imagino okay. que le queda poquito tiempo pero en sí, que es que aunque ya me voy a ir desocupando un poco, es que sí, realmente anteriormente estaba la con carrera. la U y esto, sí, o sea, se me complicaba un poco, pero ahorita creo que ya voy a ir como que solo tiempo para el inglés, entonces ya me voy a ir un poco concentrando más en eso. Este, solo una pregunta más, eh, yo a veces uso la aplicación de buzo, creo que se llama, uh -huh. este... Más o menos, pero solamente que ahí las cosas las explican un tanto diferente. Sí, hay muchas aplicaciones. Eh, está la otra famosa. Duolingo. Duolingo, ajá. Uh -huh. Mire, siempre y cuando sea vocabulario, pronunciación y todo eso, pues cualquier material inglés es bueno, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo que eh, lo que sí nos tiene que ir acostumbrando es ir traduciendo todo o eh, utilizando el español para, hay algunas aplicaciones que usan el español para explicar la pronunciación de inglés, y no es así, uh -huh. no es así, no podemos agarrar el inglés y españolizarlo, ¿ya? Uh -uh. Como uh -huh. cuando, en el, cuando usted va en el bus, ¿verdad? Y le venden a veces unos, unos folletitos ahí, aprende inglés, uh -huh. y entonces en la pronunciación que pone ahí es malísima, entonces, eh, media vez usted ignore eso, yo creo que cualquier material de inglés es buenísimo. Oiga. Okay. Así, okay. Que, así que mi consejo es siga usándolo. ¿Verdad? Ok, está bien. Pero primero termine la plataforma y no falle clases y ya lo demás, pues, ahí usted decide. Cómo... Ya la plataforma la terminé ahora. Por Excelentoso. Cierto. Sí, la, la terminé good, ahora. Tuve Very chance. Good. Sí, Excelente. así que esa era mi duda. Así que ya, ya se me entonces. aclaró. Ok. Ajá. Any extra question? Muchas gracias. No, no, a, a, estamos a la orden ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta extra? No. No, no, no. no hasta, que, hasta ahí, sí. Hasta ahí. Permítame que ya me perdí, este. Ya me perdí. Ya no encuentro la, el sitio aquí, permítame, voy a salir. Ahí estamos, hoy sí. Bueno. Ok, María, congratulations sí. again. Yes. Really smart, very intelligent. Congratulations. See you tomorrow, right? Yes. Bye See bye. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.